Thank you. Good morning. Buenos dias. Buen turno. That's as far as I can go. It's a beautiful day, a very important day. It's a great honor for me to address you on this great day over this most important weekend. The day that marks your naturalization into this great country we call America, our home. This is the day, and this is the weekend that celebrates America's Day of Independence, July 4th. The day that exemplifies Americans, America's unique spirit and philosophy, and marks our struggle for independence and the ongoing fight to preserve and protect our freedom. The principles that America has fought for throughout its history. I'd like to thank Acting Deputy Director H of the USCIS and Meg Crofton of Walt Disney World for hosting this ceremony and the cast uh, of, the, of the park that's been so gracious, not only to all of us, but specifically to my family. And i also like to acknowledge and thank from the bottom of my heart and with my deepest appreciation those serving in the military that are fighting for the freedoms we enjoy and protecting our safety at home. And I would also like to congratulate the 1,000 immigrants from over 100 countries here who have come together today to form a nation of one. I can think of no better place for your naturalization ceremony to take place than at Walt Disney World. Like America herself, it's a place where dreams come true. We all come from different paths, backgrounds, and struggles, but we all follow in the steps of so many millions of immigrants and exiles that have chosen to make America their home. We must honor our ancestors in that journey by blazing our own with dignity. America is a country more diverse than any other, built on the backs of millions of people who have sought liberty and a better life for themselves and their families. A country not defined by race, religion, or ethnicity, but by our shared civic ideals and values. Myself, I am a proud Cuban American. My father and mother immigrated to the United States as political exiles two and a half years after Fidel Castro took over our homeland. By the time I was almost 60 years old, I had witnessed through the prism of a child's eye and the emotional reality of our family, Castro's betrayal of the basic principles of the Cuban Revolution, its promise of the re restoration of our Constitution, elections, and an absolute pluralistic and democratic society. After these broken promises, he firmly established a communist dictatorship in Cuba. My family was one of the fortunate ones that were able to foreshadow what was to come. They had the enormous courage to pick up and leave a country they cherished in order to guarantee that we would live in a society without repression and indoctrination. We were fortunate that we came to America where we could express ourselves freely and pursue our dreams. And she embraced us with unconditional love and support. We arrived with nothing, but we were provided with opportunities and later rewards that came about by my parents' hard work and the example they passed down to us, an example so exemplified in the American spirit. America is a land of opportunity, but it is our duty as Americans to give back to this country that has adopted us. We must be active in our ongoing development and protection of her rights. The great Cuban poet Jose Marti, himself a political exile at the end of the 19th century, who spent many years in New York, once said, man loves liberty, even if he does not know that he loves it. He is driven by it, and he flees from where it does not exist. He also said we always must fight for our freedom, even if we must pay for it with our life. America and its inherent freedoms that it offers should inspire us to fight for and preserve the American dream of absolute freedom and family prosperity through hard work and dedication. On this great weekend that marks the birthday of American freedom, I celebrate this remarkable milestone in your lives, the honor and privilege of American citizenship, a nation that has given birth to the greatest of leaders who have inspired us with their dreams, from Abraham Lincoln to Martin Luther King. Extraordinary leaders whose legacies embody the spirit expressed in Robert Browning's words, 
A man's reach should exceed his grasp. For what's a heaven for? Let us continue to pervert, preserve this great American dream of absolute freedom and equality with dignity and, de and dedication. May your life in America be blessed as mine has been. And may God bless America for giving us this opportunity. Thank you very much.